two years ago, we saw there was a flurry of interest here in the county. We had probably 50 people sign up to grow at least an acre or two of hemp just here in Lancaster County last year. In certain areas of Pennsylvania, there is a history of growing tobacco. And this is a crop that kind of resembles tobacco. The fact that it is labor intense, the fact that it needs to be dried. Uh, there is a lot of experience that tobacco growers can use to manage this crop and to handle this crop. The more information you can get about your own crop, the better prepared you are to make decisions the entire season, and the better prepared you are to figure out how you're going to market this crop. Raising hemp is no different than raising anything else. You put it out in the field, it's a risk. The uh, insects or the disease may set in, it may not. You have to deal with all those pros and cons and do the best you can and that's what we've been doing and so far we've been fortunate. Pennsylvania compared to other states, other area, has a series of advantages. A summer season where we have a lot of hours of, of light uh, until you know August basically and that will induce the plant to flower. Given that, for the photoperiod sensitive variety is an advantage. Why? Because then the plant will produce a big biomass and only then go to flower. This isn't a plant you can ignore. This isn't a plant that you can put in the ground, walk away and it'll grow like a weed. So just like any other crop, we need to farm this. Hemp is one of those products like corn where they claim, you know, there could be a thousand and one uses. We're trying to delve into some of those potential uses and uh, see what kind of a future they may have here in the state and, and across the nation as well. Uh, we will. We can sell this one about a half inch and dry it down to like 10 to 12 percent moisture. We're working on making those connections with private industry and with university researchers across the country to work on some of these projects, including animal feed, animal bedding, um, exploring textile use. We're working with some of our industry partners on in-field harvesting and processing equipment um, to make it more efficient to harvest this material and get it into a state that can be easily processed here in the United States. Penn State has a 150 acre research farm here in Lancaster County and so the last two summers I've put together field days that were for hemp producers. Last year for our field day we actually had over 300 for the event that were interested in either becoming better growers or getting into the hemp industry. We can really make a go of this and do well and build ourselves up. All we gotta do is educate yourself, work hard, communicate with others and you can learn so much. Hopefully as we progress with all this, we'll, we can put ourselves right up there and be just as good of master growers with hemp as the Midwest and the West Coast can be. I found out last year we should have done something and didn't. We're gonna end up with a much better product because of how we did it this year. It's a lot, a lot of time, lots of patience. But again, you'll get out of it what you put in it. And that's what we're striving for.